Yeah, a little confusing here. Where I'm standing right now, this is a public beach. You're allowed to be here, and you'll be allowed to be here this weekend. But if you go over here, you can see some of these condo buildings. If the land, and assuming the land is owned privately, technically, if you are standing there on Sunday, you will be considered trespassing. For Katie Carroll, it was a long drive to get to St. Pete Beach for some sun and relaxation. However, she's not looking forward to her next visit. Like where I'm from, we have to go two hours to get to a beach, and I don't want to come from two hours to be squeezed in with tons of people. She's upset over new Florida law that goes into effect Sunday that will change the current open access laws. Starting July 1st, it may be illegal to put your towel or chair in the sandy area above the high tide water line if it's owned privately. So if a hotel or homeowner who owns the beach as well wants to kick someone off the dry sand, they can, and that is not sitting well with many here. And there's so many people out here, and if they cut that, then everyone's going to be squished into one area. It's going to be hard for people to move. We don't, we're not going to change our business model in any way. If Keith Overton is president of Trade Winds Resort. He says the new law gives his business more teeth if someone is acting out and bothering others, but says for the most part, resorts want people on their beaches. It's good for business, and he doesn't plan on changing anything. If somebody's walking up and down the beach and they want to come and uh, have a drink in our bar, we, we love that, we welcome that. So it, it really isn't going to change what we do or any of the commercial establishments. Where you're more likely to see controversy if a homeowner or condo association that also owns the beach wants to cut off access. They get together and they vote that they don't want to have people on their sandy beach in front of their property. Um, then I think you could see some confusion and perhaps some conflict over it. So there's still a lot of confusion over this. First off, how are you going to know what's private and what's not private? Also, if you're a private homeowner or business and you do want to restrict access to your business or to your beach, you can't just put up a fence. That's actually in violation of certain DEP laws. So still a lot of uncertainty, even more confusion. Uh, but the only thing certain, Linda, is that the water will still be here Sunday. Back to you. <laughs>